everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at two formats of typing the blocked style memorandum. Now as you know a memorandum is a document that is used within an organization for internal communication. A letter is sent out right those external communication with the, the company's customers but a memo is for internal communication and as such, it is less formal than the business letter. Now, because it is less formal, we do not need to um, address it. To uh, We don't have any senders and receivers address. No salutation and complimentary clothes because everyone is on the same side. All right. So we are accustomed to each other. So we don't have to be that formal. So we just get straight to the point. So we start off a memorandum with the word memorandum. Some organizations may choose to use the word memo for short, right? It is flushed to the left because we are doing the blocked style and it is written in all capital letters, either in expanded capitals, we call that space gaps or in closed capital letters as I have it here. So it is here in post capitals and I also have it in bold. I did not leave it at font size 12. I did not leave it at font size 12. I chose to put it at font size 14 because I wanted it to stand out some more on the page. If your preference is to put it maybe at 16, go ahead. All right. But the word must be on the page. Now, sometimes you may get a memorandum to type in an exam and the word memo is not there. However, you're expected to put it on the page. All right? And you get a mark for that. Right? What would a memo be without the word being there? All right? So that should be there. So the word memorandum is typed, right? Either in all capital letters, we call that closed caps or closed capitals or in expanded capital letters. Following that, we have a triple space. And a triple space is basically two unspaced show heights between lines of text. Let me put on my show height as a guide. All right, so here it is, two unspaced show heights between lines of a text. Following that, you have the caption, which is to, from, ref, meaning reference and date, right? Sometimes you may not see it, in, see it in this specific order, but all four must be there. To, from, ref, and date. Now, that information must be filled in. And it is written in double line spacing. Note also that there's no punctuation as it relates to these captions, all right? because it utilizes what is called open punctuation, where the colon is omitted after each caption. Now, once we have written that, I have decided to insert a line between the date and the body. Well, well, up here is called the caption, all right? And following that, we have the body, which takes into consideration the subject heading and the rest of the text. Right, I chose, and this is preference, to put a line to separate them. As some memos will come looking like that. All right, you see the distinction, but the line is not a must. And you will see that as we go on. Now, I have a double space before and after the line. All right, so a double space should be before and after the line. And then I have the subject heading. Note that everything is flushed to the left margin and the word subject is there with the subject heading being placed to the right of it. Also, note that all this information is properly lined up on the page. So we have Carol being the C, being under the A. Everything is in a straight line coming down. Your document should be like that. All right? It should not be jumbled and all over the place. Some information being itched up let me try to show you what that will look like, right? You shouldn't have it like that. 
However, everything should be properly lined up. Okay? All right. So after that, we have the subject. And after the word subject and the subject heading, we have another triple space before we start typing the rest of the document. All right? Now, each paragraph, as you know, with typing, it's not a manuscript where we use double line spacing, but each paragraph is typed in single line spacing with a double space between your paragraphs. Okay? Note here, now I have an enumeration. I have two items being listed and these are enumerated items. They are, they start at the left margin and there's no full stop after the numbers and they are in double line spacing. So that is an enumeration being displayed. Now some memorandums, right, we do not normally sign a memo, we don't have a complimentary clause, etc. But some may come with some additional information at the end of it. Right? So you may have the reference initial here. You may have an enclosure or attachment here. And you may have a copy notation here, which signifies who else would have received a copy of this document. All right? Not all memos will have them, but I showed you one that has this information on it. All right? And that you come down about four spaces. All right? So about four show heights, as I have it here, unspaced. And then you write that information and you put a double space between each. All right? And that is it for the first blocked style memo. All right? Let me quickly go down to the second example. So here I have another memorandum. Now, this one I chose to use spaced capitals, otherwise known as expanded capital letters. And that is basically one space between each letter. Following that, I have a triple space. So after the word memorandum, there should always be a triple space. All right? Now, after your triple space, you have the caption. So the caption takes into consideration to, from, date, and reference. All right? You will not normally see the word reference being there. You will always see the word ref. So let me leave it at ref. All right. Now, as I said before, it may not be in any specific order. All right. So the one above looked at to from ref and then date. And this one has to from date and ref. Right. But majority of the times you will see it with to from ref and date being before the subject. All right. Now, after we have that, note also that my date is written in the block style format. All right. Day, month, and then year. Also, with the subject heading, now being the block style, the subject heading that I had above, let me go up there, was in all capital letters. But I chose to do this one right and note also that all the information above they were in capital letters but here they are all in initial capital letters all right and so i will do not underline them although they are in italics okay so they are written like that and then i have the subject and i choose to put the subject heading now so the subject heading must be either in bold or underlined all right and note that I chose now to leave out the line in this example. And if I had the line, it would be a double space before and after the line, as was said. But in this example, there is no line. So everything is um, starts at the left margin and information is properly, properly aligned to the right of it. All right? The space between it doesn't have to be this large. Let me come over a bit more. So the space doesn't have to be that large. All right? So that is it. Now, after the subject, there is a triple space, two unspaced show eyes. Let me put on back my show eye. Two unspaced show eyes. Now, with this, you do not see the, the, the first show eye, but the space is there where one can go. So you can imagine that one is there. And sometimes it's based on how you do your spacing. 
all right but this is a triple space two on space show heights all right or one show height with a space above it where another show height could be placed all right okay so there's a triple space after my subject heading all my paragraphs are written in single line spacing with a double space between as well as they all start at the left margin now what is the difference here now this information is indented a bit and is also placed in single line spacing now this is an inset all right it doesn't look as if it starts at 0 0.5 let me check it out all right can go over a bit more so this is now an inset so this is a memorandum with an inset all right um note also that i did not put the reference in reference initial enclosure and copy notation on this all right in some cases a person may choose to just put their initials on it all right and this is not in times new Roman. in some cases the person may just choose to do that and that will be the end of the, the memo all right and i said four spaces And that is it. So that is how you would do a another style of the blocked style memorandum. All right. Do hope you understood what was done here today. If you did, please, I'm asking to like, share with someone who you think will benefit from the content and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so. Thank you very much for watching and see you in my next upload.